Welcome to Peacemake TV. In this video for Lightroom, we're going to take a look at how we can create a matte effect. So if we take a look on screen right now, this is the end result, and we're going to go through step by step, and I'm going to show you how you can achieve this result quickly and easily. So the first thing we're going to do to start working on this image to create the matte effect is open up the tone curve from the dialog box on the right hand side in the develop module. So we can click and expand that and at the moment we're in the standard editing mode and what we need to do is change this over to the point curve editing mode where we can then manually place points on our tone curve and adjust those easily. So all I need to do is click on this box in the bottom right hand corner of the tone curve dialog box and that will switch us over into the point curve mode. So the first thing I want to do is bring up all the shadow area to lighten that up and flatten the image out. So to do that, if I come to the bottom left hand corner where our shadow information is, I can grab that point and I can start lifting that up. And you can see as I do, it flattens the image out and gets rid of the darker areas of our image. So the next thing I want to do is add an extra point. And I'm going to drag that back down just to put some contrast back into it. So we now kind of flattened the image out. If we disable that, we can see the before and after. So we've created that semi-matte effect to it. We've crushed the contrast on there, really reduced that down. So next, we're going to make some adjustments in the basic panel. So if I expand that out, first thing we're going to do is adjust the highlights. So we're going to bring those down. We're not going to go crazy with this. We're just going to reduce it by about 10 or 15%. The next thing, we're going to go to the shadows, we're going to give those a little bit of a boost, probably around 40, plus 40, just to give that some, some boost. And we're also going to do the same to the blacks, but we're going to do this by a smaller amount. Next, we're going to come at the clarity, so we can give it a bit more edge contrast to make it just a little bit of punch in there, but while still keeping that matte effect. So let's take that up by about 10 or 15 just to give some edge contrast. That looks good. And finally, we're just going to reduce the saturation because we want to reduce some of the color in this image to accentuate that matte effect. So let's take that down by about, about 10, 10 or 12, that should do. Yep, I'm liking the look of that. That's working for me. So the final step we need to do when it comes to the color is we're going to add a very subtle split tone. Now this is easy to do, we just simply come down to the split toning section on the develop module and we can go in and we can adjust the two colors we want to work with. Now this is going to be quite subtle, I don't want huge amounts of color in this, I want to keep that matte effect so the whole point is we want to get a semi-desaturated flattened look, so it's like on a matte paper, like a, a watercolor kind of paper effect. So let's just take the hue over, we'll take that over into soft reds and we'll take that over edge it towards the yellows around 45 should do and we'll just boost the saturation up by about five or six just to give us a, a subtle yellowy hue to this next up we're going to come down to the shadows and we're going to give those a blue kind of magenta cast so we take that up to about 270 275 somewhere around there and again we're just going to put the saturation in there but we're not going to go crazy with this but just a little bit more than we did with the yellows, maybe around 10 or 12. So there we go, that's looking quite good. Let's turn that on and off, let's take a look. So as you can see, we've kind of given it a slight purpley blue hue, which is quite nice. So that's all there is to the color side of things. The next, we just wanna add some grain. Now obviously this is dependent upon the image that you're working with and the kind of effect that you want to achieve. So I'm not going to go crazy with this, but I am going to add a little bit of grain in there. So we're going to come down to the grain slider and we're going to take that up to about 35 to 40 just to give that like it's been shot with a high ISO on our camera. Size around 30, 35 should do. And when it comes to the roughness, Let's bring that down just a little bit. Around 40 should do. So if we zoom in and take a look at that noise, you can see it's quite a natural looking noise to the image. And there we go, there's our matte effect. So let's take a look at that side by side to see exactly what it looked like when we started to where we are now. So let's just take a look at that. There's our before, 
on these hour and after. Quite a nice subtle effect. Give it a real sort of retro feel. Well, that's all there is to this effect. If you wanted to, you could quite easily save this out as a preset and you could apply that to your images and fine tune and tweak if you need to, which is a very, very quick and easy way of being able to apply this effect to multiple images. Well, I hope you found this video useful. I hope it's an effect that you can use in your photo editing. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Any comments or questions or feedback on this video or anything else on the channel, please pop those in the comments section below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all of the new content we add every single week. If you do enjoy the tutorials we put out on this channel, please consider popping over to Amazon where you can purchase the new ebook we released on the Kindle store. Eight essential Adobe Lightroom techniques where we go into detail about different techniques that every Adobe Lightroom user should really have in their arsenal. Link is in the description below and your support is much appreciated. Well, until next time, take care.